Assalamu alaikum and hello what's up guys this is iMat and today's video is about the iOS 14.3 developer beta 3 so in this video we're gonna be talking about what's new in this beta and it also came with the great news we will be discussing about it later in the video so first of all guys if you're new here then hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications for the channel to stay updated on the upcoming videos and also guys hit the thumbs up button and comment down below with your opinion on the video as it matters a lot so without any further delay we will start the video but before that guys go ahead and go to my twitter account and follow this account here is my new account it was actually my personal twitter account but because twitter kept suspending all of the new accounts i made so i have renamed this account for my youtube channel so you can go ahead and follow that account i hope that twitter won't suspend this one so you can find the link of this account in the description as you all know i had a family of 5000 followers so let's go ahead and turn this 600 into 5000 as soon as possible so without any further delay guys let's start the video so first of all guys let me show you that right now my software is downloading i use 14.3 developer beta 3 and it will be ready in a few minutes and after that my device will restart and turn on in ios 14.3 developer beta 3 before with that let's look at the build number of ios 14.3 developer beta 2 so keep in mind that it has a c at the end 18c 5054c and as i told you that the next beta will have a or b at the end so i'm pretty sure the netless beta will have a or b at the end and and after that we will get our hands on the gm release so let's wait for my device to restart and turn on in ios 14.3 developer beta 3 and after that i will come back to you so, so until then peace so guys the update has finished downloading after that we're gonna go ahead and click on install but keep in mind that your device needs to be at least 20 percent charged and connected to a power source or at least 50 percent charged to install this update and it also requires a network connection to install so after that we're gonna go ahead and click on install and after that we will see the verify update sign and guys after once it has verified the update it will restart and you will see an apple logo and it will install the update and after that our device will turn on in ios 14.3 developer beta 3 so i'll be back to you once it has turned on so guys now my device has turned on after downloading ios 14.3 developer beta 3 on my device so after that i'll have to enter my lock screen passcode so here it is after that guys i didn't get any screen that your device has been updated and after that guys first of all let's go ahead go to settings go to general and go to about and see the build number so here it is as i told you that the next beta will have a or b at the end so here it is at it has an a at the end it's a 18c 5061a so after that guys the a means that the next beta that we will get will be the gm release which is the gold master release if you don't know the gold master release has all of the features of the ot update but it is tested before releasing the update publicly so after that guys we will get our hands on the ota update so we might expect the ot update to be out in two weeks so after that guys let's go back let me show you that right now i am running the latest ios 14.3 beta now and it looks really good i have been using it since you are seeing it in the video and it is showing great speed as it just turned on but it looks really fast let me show you here you can see that the speed is really good and it looks kind of good to be out in two weeks so in the next we will see the OTA update let's go ahead and go to the battery section and see if the battery health has gone down so i'm gonna go to battery health no the battery health is still 86 percent i have been using the as 14.0 beta since the beta 1 of ios 14 and my battery health never went down and it has been performing really well for me also so i charged my device three minutes ago to 24 percent and now it's at 23 percent 
because it just turned on and I have everything turned on airdrop Wi-Fi Bluetooth and cellular data also my brightness is full and the device is looking really good guys i have read it everywhere and i have also seen so far that there are no noticeable changes so far in ios 14.3 developer beta 3 but if you find any new change make sure you comment down below and tell me about it and I will include those changes in my follow-up videos. If you don't know that, I also cover the follow-up videos and tell you about the performance of the device on the latest beta. So make sure you have notifications turned on. So guys, the update is looking really good and I recommend you to install it. But if you are a jailbreak lover and your device does not support Checkrain or you want a semi-untethered jailbreak to be out soon and support your device, then guys it is recommended to stay on as lower version as possible it was recommended to stay on ios 14.1 and i tweeted a lot of times that do not update to ios 14.2 when it was released so still if you're on ios 14.2 then stay there and do not update to ios 14.3 and if you don't care about jailbreak then go ahead and update because ios 14.3 comes with tons of changes and great features great battery life improvements and also great speed and you can notice it in your device if you're facing any issue then i recommend you to do a complete restore using itunes on your pc or laptop or macbook so guys that's all from ios 14.3 beta 3 now let's talk about the release date of the gm and the ota update so guys now if we talk about the release of the gm build and the official update of ios 14.3 then if we look at the day today is 3rd of december right now as it's 1 am here in pakistan so in other countries it might be 2nd of december so you can expect the next release which is the gm build to be out in the next week and ot update to be out in the next week after the gm build so the gm build will have almost all of the features which will come in ios 14.3 official update and after that the ota build will be released so the gm release is basically released to test the final version of the beta and if there are no bugs found in that release then it is converted into the official release and if there are some bugs then they are fixed and a new update is released with a new build number so you can expect both of these updates to be out in the next weeks in the next two weeks so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications for the channel to stay updated on the upcoming videos and also turn on notifications for my twitter account to stay updated on the latest apple ios jailbreak hackintosh and macOS news so guys i really hope that this video helped you if this video helped you then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications for the channel to stay updated on all the upcoming videos and also guys leave a comment below and a thumbs up until next time, this is IMAT. Peace out.